Hey, good afternoon. It is uh, one heck of a day out there today. Record high temperatures all across southern Minnesota and northern Iowa as of a uh, little after about 430. We're at 74 in Mankato, and that shatters the old record for uh, this date that was set back in what was it 2016. I think it was 68 degrees. That's our standing record. And here this is a look at our temperature map on Monday afternoon at 439 p.m. We're at 74 in Mankato, 75 in Fairmont, St. James, Estherville, Iowa, for crying out loud, at 78. That's just a couple of ticks away from 80 here. On March 11th, above average temperatures are going to continue. This is going to be the trend, although we do have a little cold front that's going to bop through uh, overnight on Monday night into Tuesday, and that's going to cool us off a little bit, but we're going to stay well above average for this time of year, basically through Wednesday. And then it's going to cool off a little, but even the cold temperatures that we have here on Thursday, Friday, into Saturday, that's still 10 degrees above the norm for this time of year. Our average high is 38 now. Uh, Tuesday, 67. Wednesday, 64. A bit cooler on Thursday, Friday. Then into the weekend and early next week. For the first time in a long time, we're actually going to drop a little below average with highs dropping down into the 30s by next Sunday and Monday. Unfortunately, don't have a lot in the way of rain in that forecast. And so the dry concerns, the drought concerns will continue through most of this week. We'll probably see some reflection of that with the new drought monitor when it comes out on Thursday. Here's a cold front. It's a fairly weak one that's going to kick through uh, overnight, Monday night into Tuesday morning. It's going to knock our high down a couple of degrees into the mid 60s for Tuesday. But that's still, I mean, that's still, you know, 20 plus degrees above the average here for this time of year. High temperature forecast uh, for Tuesday, 67 in Mankato. Generally upper 60s around the region. Would not be surprised to catch another 70 as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday. Slightly cooler with mid-60s, a little further north. We'll get into the upper 50s for highs, and we actually have another front that's going to zip through late week that's going to cool us off and bring a chance for some scattered showers. But it's not going to be much. Uh, you can take a look, and I actually think that uh, this is overdoing it by a bit. We may get, if you're lucky, up to a tenth of an inch of showers on Thursday, but uh, most places... You know, maybe enough to get the sidewalk wet for a short period of time, but it's not going to be anything significant. And we really don't have any major precip anywhere in our 10 day forecast, which means that the dry weather will continue to be a concern. And of course, uh, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures warmer than average, not going to be real windy, but all the dry stuff going on out there. Fire danger will be elevated. So keep that in mind. 67 Tuesday, 64 on Wednesday, and then we'll take a little trip down into the 40s, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A bit cooler for uh, Sunday and Monday with highs dropping into the 30s for St. Patty's Day. And then as we take you into next week, we will eventually climb back into the 40s, possibly again into the 50s by mid to late next week. But for now, a couple more really warm days, and then it's just warm above average days, you know, considering it's still early March uh, as we head into the last half of the week. That's what's going on. Uh, stop watching this and uh, get your rear outside and enjoy some of this nice uh, spring weather. We have a couple more days of highs in the 60s and then things will change a bit. That's it for now. Have a great day.